From the exotic nations of Africa to Asia to wealthy Europe, the term queen often conjures up thoughts of money, luxury, extravagance, and wielding influential influence in the country. While queens are often linked with riches and luxury, numerous ruling queens in the modern world have less wealth and resources than other members of royalty or their ancestors. But do you know who these queens are and why they are paid so little? Perhaps not. This video presents a list of nine poorest queens in the world. So without further ado, let's begin. Number 9. Queen Setra of Thailand Queen Setra of Thailand is descended from the House of Mahadol, a 200-year-old royal house. She was born into a non-royal Thai Chinese household on June 3, 1978. Until 2019, she worked as an actress, flight attendant, and security officer for the royal family. Then, she married King Mahavachiralongkong, commonly known as Rama X. This monarch is well known for its lavish lifestyle and controls more than 95% of the royal fortune. This means the queen's income has been reduced to a bare minimum, and her net worth is now only $5 million. A minor percentage of revenue comes from the national government through annual allowances to complete royal obligations and cover her expenses. However, vast amounts of money come from the royal family's properties and lands. Coming from a royal dynasty whose members used to live a regal lifestyle with net worths in the millions, the queen's financial worth needs to be improved. And many believe this is due to recent economic and constitutional modernization. Despite this, Queen Setra is widely revered throughout the country and is regarded as one of the royal family's most hardworking and sincere members. Number 8 is Queen Leticia Ortiz, Roca Solano of Spain. A Royal Highness Leticia Ortiz Roca Solano was born in 1972 into a typical Spanish family. With her father as a journalist and her mother a nurse, despite hailing from a modern home, she had established a successful career in journalism. 2004, she married Philip VI, the crown prince of Spain, and became a princess. However, Felipe was crowned king in 2014, and Princess Leticia became the nation's queen. The queen's net worth is approximately $2 million. As a full-time royal, the Spanish government provides her annual income to pay expenses associated with the official duties and obligations of the monarchy's heads. The king receives most of this money, and the queen's net worth is widely regarded as far lower than that of previous Spanish queens. But the reality was very different a few decades ago, when this 300-year-old royal house had political and financial influence in the country, and its queen earned millions of dollars. However, everything changed in the 1970s, when the Spanish royal family's power and its members' riches began to dwindle. Nonetheless, this 50-year-old queen lives a life of luxury and dignity with her royal family, staying in the majestic Zarzuela Palace. Number 7. Queen Massonate Mahato Seso of Lesotho For our next queen, we will travel from Spain to Lesotho, a small, landlocked African country ruled by Queen Massonate Mahato Seso of the Mahesh royal family. Queen Massonate Mahato Seso was born on June 2, 1976 in Mopeng, Lesotho, as Anna Carabo Matsonang. She was born into the royal family of Chief Bereng Makoa, the head of the Makokoa Molibuli clan. She was born in a wealthy country and married King Leslie III in 2000, becoming the country's queen. The queen's annual income is not earned in the traditional sense. Instead, the government pays her a stipend to support her employment and philanthropic efforts. This 46-year-old African queen's net worth is estimated to be over $1.5 million, which is high given the country's financial situation. Lesotho is an underdeveloped country with a population of 2 million and per capita GDP of only 2,300. Many say this is the reason for the queen's poor income. However, the queen leads a dignified life, and the people of Lesotho adore Queen Massonet for her loving heart, devotion to her people, and attention to humanitarian issues. Number 6 is Queen Maxima Zoregueta Ceruti of the Netherlands. Maxima Zoregueta Ceruti of the Netherlands is the current queen of the House of Orange Nassau, which dates back 479 years. Maxima was born in 1971 into an ordinary Argentine family and spent her childhood without luxury. However, she joined the Dutch royal family when she married Willem Alexander in 2002 while he was still the country's crown prince. 
She became the nation's queen in 2013 when her husband ascended to the Dutch throne. In terms of income, the queen's net worth is approximately $1.1 million. As a constitutional monarchy, the queen receives her whole income through an annual stipend from the national government. This honorarium is intended to reimburse her expenses for official tasks. However, due to the Netherlands' modernity, which transitioned from a monarchy to a constitutional monarchy in 1848. This government payment has remained relatively high. This is the primary cause of the Queen of the Nation's modest annual income. However, Her Majesty Maxima enjoys a luxurious life with all her royal amenities and lives with her husband and children. Number 5. Queen Saleha Binti Muhammad Alam of Brunei the Queen of Brunei, a small Asian nation known for its oil production, is Queen Saleha binti Muhammad Alam. She was born on October 7, 1946, into a royal family. Her father, Pangidan Anak Haji Abdul Rahman, was a high-ranking government official and member of Brunei's royal family, but she became a nation's queen in 1965, marrying Hassan al-Bolkiya ibn Omar Ali Saifuddin III and joining the Bolkiya royal family. Now, this family wields financial and political power in the country, and it is also known as one of the wealthiest royal families. With an annual revenue of more than $30 billion, the majority of income comes from oil exports. However, it is astounding that this 76-year-old Brunei queen's net worth is less than $1 million. This is due to the queen's preference of managing royal matters and charity rather than finances. However, the queen's little net worth does not reflect her actual level of wealth as she lives in one of the largest royal palaces, the Istana Nurul Iman, valued at more than $2.5 billion. Number 4. Queen Jetsun Pema of Bhutan Jetsun Pema, a member of the Wangchuk royal family, is known as Bhutan's Dragon Queen. Jetsun Pema was born on June 4, 1990, to Father Don Dupe Gyalchen, a commoner. She became Bhutan's queen in 2011, when she married ruler Jigme Kesar Namgyal Wangchuk the country's fifth and current ruler. Her spouse and Bhutan's monarch share over 90% of the royal family's fortune. And as queen, her royal highness's net worth is estimated to be around $1 million. The Bhutanese government provides all her income through annual funds to cover expenses like travel, staff pay, and other costs linked with the queen's official duties and engagements. However, the queen's net worth appears poor, given her royal family background. However, this was not the case as her country old house, the House of Wangchuk, was formerly famed for its royal lifestyle and immense fortune. However, with the modernization of the economy and constitution, the monarchy lost authority and riches within the country. However, this 32-year-old queen lives a wealthy and respectable life with her family in the vast royal palace, Lincana Palace. Number 3. Queen Matilde Iturbide of Belgium, the Queen of Belgium, Matilde the Iturbide, hails from the House of Iturbide, which dates back to the 2nd century. Queen Matilde was born on January 20, 1973, in Ucle, a municipality of Brussels. She hails from a wealthy Belgian aristocratic family and has a degree in speech therapy from the Catholic University of Leuven. She joined Belgium's royal family at 26. When she married Crown Prince Philippe in 1999, she became the nation's queen consort in 2013, when her husband, the Crown Prince, ascended to the throne. This 50-year-old queen now belongs to a royal family with a rich history. She is also financially wealthy, with members accessing some of the greatest regal assets, including millions of dollars in art collections and palaces like the Royal Palace of Brussels. You may be astonished that the queen's net worth is $1 million or less. The queen's net worth is lesser because the king handles the majority of her financial affairs, and she prefers to devote her time to active and philanthropic social initiatives. However, like the royals, she has no other income source than a Belgian government subsidy. Number 2 is Empress Masako Owada of Japan Masako Owada is an empress of Japan. She was born to two diplomats in Tokyo, Japan on December 9, 1963. She joined the royal family in 1993 when she married Japan's crown prince, Naruhito. At 30, she became empress 26 years later. In 2019, when her husband ascended to the Japanese throne, the Japanese empress has a net worth of approximately $900,000 to $1 million. The Japanese government provides her whole income through a yearly allowance to fund the empress's official duties and activities, including travel, dress, and other expenses associated with representing the imperial family. However, this annual allowance for the empress still needs to be considered adequate. 
However, in the past, the imperial house was one of the wealthiest in the world, allowing its members to live a sumptuous and royal lifestyle. The decline in royal wealth directly resulted from Japan's transition to a constitutional monarchy in 1947. Despite her meager financial resources, Empress Masako of Japan is well known for her philanthropic efforts and donations totaling thousands of dollars. Number 1. Queen Nanasi Pao Tukuaho of Tonga we traveled from Japan across the Pacific Ocean to a lovely group of islands known as Tonga. Queen Nanasepao Tukuaho of the Tepao royal family reigns over this little nation. She was born in Tonga on June 18, 1954, to an aristocratic family. Her father being the late Baron Vaya, the country's previous prime minister, Nana Sipau became Tonga's queen consort in 2012 when she married the country's monarch, Tupou VI. In terms of income, the queen's net worth ranges between $800,000 and $1 million, which she receives as a salary to pay her expenses. And there are other reasons why the queen's income is so modest. One factor is Tonga itself. Tonga is a small country with a GDP of approximately $0.15 billion or $510 million. And due to its low economic ability, the monarchy's wealth is limited compared to other monarchies worldwide. However, as the Queen of Tonga, a constitutional monarchy, the 69-year-old queen wields political and economic power above all. She is well-respected and uses her position to support various charity organizations, including programs to improve the health and well-being of the Tongan people. And there you have it, a list of the world's nine poorest queens. Despite their low riches, these queens continue to play essential roles in their respective countries, supporting various humanitarian projects while upholding the dignity and traditions associated with their royal status. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the realm of royalty. Until next time, stay tuned for more compelling stories.